Hello everybody, welcome to March and Chevy videos. I'm Chad Dolbier, your host with Charleston Car Videos on YouTube. It's 2017 folks, and I wanna show you a vehicle that just got traded in. Beautiful car, great car. It's the Honda Pilot. This is one's a 2016. It's got just around 9,600 miles on it, so low mileage. And it's a beautiful vehicle, and it's an EXL, so it's pretty loaded. It's got some nice features on the inside. I don't have a clue of why someone traded in this Honda Pilot for a vehicle here at Chevrolet. I mean, this is a brand new car practically, but obviously they found something out here that they wanted. And you know what? That's the luxury of being able to have good credit and, and, uh, and a, you know, a good car buying experience is to be able to take your car somewhere and trade out of it if you want to a year later, okay? So that's just the luxury of working in the car business and also, uh, having good credit. Again, <laughs> if you got good credit, you can do about anything you want with, uh, with your vehicles. So anyways, let's get started. Let's take a look and see what kind of options we have on this Pilot. And, uh, and let's do a little condition report. So front end's looking great, as you can see here. That new body style on the Pilot is just gorgeous. You do got fog lights, you got projector headlamps, you got your blinkers down there. You know, Honda's put that nice chrome grill rolling right through there, which looks great. It's not bad. This is a nice color on this car. It's not silver and it's not dark gray. It's kind of in a mix between the two. But as you can see, no dents, dings, or scratches on this pretty girl. Do got a nice pinstripe going down the side. Let's look at our wheels for just a moment. Again, practically brand new. They're Bridgestone Dueler tires, or the HPs. Plenty of tread on the tires. Alloy wheels looking good not bad at all those are uh, 18 inch alloys with a 245 60 series tire one thing I can tell you technology now you do got tinted windows but you got a camera right there in your in your uh, side mirror which will let you display everything on the side of the car here when you're trying to get over okay so that kind of gets rid of that blind spot thing going on you can see what's who's actually sitting right there next to your car nice feature that Honda's done with um, the rear end looks just as good as the front end, nice and smooth, and the body lines look great. No dents, dings, or scratches on this pretty girl. Backup camera right there. So now you got a camera on the side, now you got one in the back. We're going to open up the back. Power tailgate as well. You can hit that button or your pocket or purse and just hit a button and boom, open that right on up. <coughs> now the Honda Pilot does come standard with third row seats, so that's nice. And they fold down nice and flat like you can see right there. Second row seats will fold down as well for a 50-60 back seat split or 40-60, <laughs> however you want to do it. And then you got a little storage space down there, which is nice. So plenty of room. Got a little subwoofer right there. It looks like an 8-inch that can kind of sit right in there, so a little bump in the trunk. You know, us fellas out there, we always love a little bump in the trunk on our cars. Hit that and drop that back down. Who's to say the ladies don't like a little bump in the trunk as well, right? We all love listening to some good music. Now, uh, again, like I said earlier, around 9,693 miles, 3.5 liter V6 under the hood. Ruh, ruh, ruh. Plenty of power to get the job done on the Pilot. And it's a Japanese vehicle, so the resale value holds up and residuals are good. And that's also another good reason to be able to trade in a car later down the road is uh, when they hold their value. So leather interior, of course. Power seat, power lumbar. This one's got the gray leather. I call it sometimes taupe. But the, oh no, this is actually quartz. So it's a nice gray leather wrapped steering wheel. Got all your audio controls on there. You got two nice display screens right there. Okay, and then two tachometer, speedometer right there as well. Another big touch screen display here by Honda, which looks good. The fit and finish is great. You got a start stop engine button, dual climate control, and then you also got um, you know your your auxiliary port, USB port, heated seats, driver passenger side, 12 volt, and then two 1.5A and a 2.5A USB ports. Good size cup holders and plenty of storage. Honda has always been good about cubby hole space and keeping things kind of where they need to be. Um, in the back, you do got a nice little setup back here. I can tell you one thing, folks, if you got kids, they're gonna love that rear entertainment system in the roof and that sunroof for mom and dad for those Carolina skies. Let's take a move and look in the back. Still under the manufacturer's warranty. This is a great feature. I used to see this on Audis and luxury cars back in the day. And uh, it's nice to have that screen there. 
just a little additional uh, way to be able to block out the sun from coming in and hitting the kids in the face. Especially if you got a little newborn baby, you don't want all that sun poking them in the eye. Um, you do got rear air vents right there, rear climate control, and then again, you know, you got your uh, 115 volt, 150 watt outlet right here. I love that feature. You can plug things in right there, charge cameras up, however you want to do it. You got HDMI right here. That's something new I haven't seen on a lot of cars, HDMI. I've seen that before. You got your headphone jacks. Again, you can plug in a uh, game system if you want and just have it displayed right up here. Nice big screen. One thing I like about this is you can pop that out and as you can see, and the kids can hold the remote or mom and dad can take it from them if they're getting on your nerves. And you can say, look, you ain't getting that remote back until you act right, son. Okay? So <laughs> another great feature Honda's done, I tell you. They know how us American folks like it. So if you like this pilot, you might be able to get a good deal on it considering it's pre-owned now and uh, save you a few thousand dollars compared to buying one new. So come on down and see us at March at Chevrolet Home and no deal or admin fees, no dock fees of any kind. Comment, like, send me a comment, folks. I want to know what you think about this pilot right here. If you own a Honda now and what do you think they traded it in on? I'd like to see what you got to say. We'll see you soon.